so gorgeous. That's right. A whole new meaning to island life over here. you that don't know this is a fish cleaning place so when you come in off your boat you come down here to these stainless steel little countertops here you got your fish there's usually water down here so you can clean it all get all the scales and stuff of it but yeah they provide that at most docks oh my goodness look how clean this ocean is hey eh? the water hey eh? oh, beautiful boat look at that thing it's a research vehicle. Huh. There's Jose over there. Seems like there's quite a number of liveaboards out here. I saw a couple people coming in on small vessels. And they come in and they come in on the wharf here with a little like aluminum skiff. One guy jumped on his high boy scooter and boogied up to the store and came back and went back out to his boat. It's like, oh, what a way of life that would be. I really should be in the lineup to get on this ferry. I believe they're fueling up right now, but um, it's such a beautiful day. I can't get in the uh, get up and go mood yet. <laughs> Getting in the lineup for the ferry. He warned us oh, that we might not get on. Well, he said we're not getting on, but I think we might. We'll see. Well, that was definitely a wait. Well, it looks like we're loaded. Hello, I got lost. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And we're off. And look who I found on this ship. It's Jose from Jose's Serenity Wagon. Look at this. That's the uh, Rebecca Smith, where we were last night. And that's the park that I was going to get you to walk around because you were parked over there, right? You can see where there's a car parked over there. That's where you were.
I'm so looking forward to uh, exploring this island. We're going to spend the day here and the night and then um, back to uh, Quadra tomorrow. Goodness, these forests on this island are amazing. Not many homes, so you can look into the forest and uh, there's some good wood in there. <laughs> some crazy roads and back in forests coming in here, but we should be in the town here fairly shortly. I must say, they are well signed here, so you won't get lost on Cortez. Oh, I think I just found heaven on earth. This is Smelt Bay, and by the looks of it, there's camping here. <laughs> Well, this is where we're having dinner tonight. This is Smelt Bay. Sadly, there's these signs down here. And, uh, well, we're going to go to the overflow parking tonight. Uh, there is a campsite, and it's up the hill. But for some reason, the gate is locked. And it does say that there's winter camping because I took a ride up there and had a look. But there is right behind us here on the other side of these woods, an overflow campsite for campers. So we're going to hunker down there tonight, but we're going to enjoy this beautiful spot to have dinner in. And for dinner, we're boiling up some water and making a Greek salad. So it's going to be a Greek pasta salad. I have Jose outside with the barbecue. I got some four skewers I've been meaning to cook. I pulled out of the freezer, but we have a couple racks of ribs we're gonna do up. You know, the already prepped ones. So let me get to work. We'll let that marinate a bit while we're waiting for the noodles to soften up. You could uh, say that my uh, kitchen uh, really sucks tonight. <laughs> Is this place not gorgeous or what? Oh my goodness. <laughs> How's your dinner? Pretty good. Jose did an amazing job on the ribs. We had a company show up. A couple locals out on their walk on the beach. And so our meals got a little cool, cold. <laughs> but you know what? Talking to people is so much fun. She had a little puppy even for the Goldberg dude to hang out with that looked exactly like Goldberg. Uh, this is quite an amazing sight. We were wondering what the heck this was. And uh, upon closer examination, those are herring eggs. And it just goes on and on. It was just herring season here. And uh, during herring season, uh, it's a spawning ritual. So the fishermen are out chasing the herring and they're all spawning. And the water will actually turn like white as they're laying their eggs and fertilizing them. And it's just crazy how many eggs they are, even up top here. Right, dude?
so tranquil, peaceful, serene. So we had one of my subscribers show up, Paulo. He came over here to Cortez to hang out. I'm just making my way back to the schoolie because my knees are freaking killing me. I need to go relax, call it a night. Oh, I can't do that, I gotta pack everything away first. I love my life. <laughs> <sighs> Look at that, eh?